So I haven't done a video in a while and thought I'd come out here and enjoy the sunset at my usual spot and do a video um, with some inspiration that's been deep and, you know, um, it's been on my mind and deep in my heart to, to talk about. And it's something that it's like been the greatest lesson for me over the past year, year and a half. Um, and that's loving yourself and loving other people so much that you're willing to hold space for them. And to me, it's, in, you know, a lot of people don't really understand or can really grasp deeply what holding space for somebody means. Um, and for me, <clears throat> it's, it's being able to love somebody at the depth of your love, which mine is pretty deep and it's just me. I can't, I can't change that about myself. There's nothing that I can do to, to stop or turn off my love for people. And, um, but it took me really learning and knowing how to love myself, um, to be able to, to do this and to, actually hold space for people um, <clears throat> and um, basically what it means for me is to meet somebody where they're at um, be there for them at wherever they're at in their life or whatever they're going through loving them at, a, at such a level where you can set that love aside for them and meet them where they're at, you know, it, and it doesn't matter if they love you back. It doesn't matter if they reciprocate, you are holding space for them, meaning there's no judgment, there's no expectations, there's no, um, you know, sometimes there's no love back and you're not going to get back what you give to somebody if you're holding space for them. Um, it's it's really important to love yourself if you're willing to hold space for people um, and know yourself well enough to know that you that you have a love that's that deep and you love yourself with the same depth as you do the other person without expectation without judgment um, and you know it, it it's hard to love somebody so much and so deep you know, they're sharing their, their story with you and, or what's going on in their life. And, and it affects you, especially if you're an empath and you're a deep filler like myself, it, it will affect you. Um, you could, you know, start falling for somebody. Um, but yet again, you, you have to be willing to set that aside and meet them where they're at because you know, they either will or they they won't reciprocate. Um, they're going to hurt you. You know, you have to be willing to forgive them like that. You have to be willing to take a step back and hold space for them. Sometimes that means them cutting you off or blocking you out or pushing you away. You have to be willing to accept that if you're going to meet them where they're at and hold space for them. It has truly been the most difficult um, thus far in my life, um, uh, I guess I don't want to say form of love, but I guess that's, a, you know, for lack of better words, it's really the only way I can put it, but, um, it has not been easy, but I feel like it's part of who I am and, and part of, you know, what God wants me to be, you know, cause he, he held, held space for us. He holds space for us all the time. You know, he loves with such a depth that he doesn't expect anything in return. He will love us where we're at, no matter where we're at and what we do, um, how much we love him back. He's going to hold space and he's going to love us regardless. It is hard as hell, but it's rewarding to me, it's it's rewarding because 
you know, I have the ability to love somebody so much and not expect anything in return and to be able to fill my own self with the same love that I give other people. I'm not saying that, you know, it's easy. I'm not saying that, you know, it's that I'm perfect or anything like that, but um, I'm just saying that it's it's just part of my journey and I've been wanting to to um, to do these videos and, and inspire people um, it's been you know pretty lonely sometimes and but anyway so holding space for others thank you